What is up ladies and gentlemen, man here, time for a little training update. Remember this spray wall session, it occurred pretty much six weeks ago on the 29th of August. It was the fitness check where I tested what grades I could still climb on the 45er. And to make a short, boring story even shorter and hopefully less boring, I got put into place pretty hard at 7A plus slash 7B, I think that's a V7 Yankee Doodle, meaning I could barely climb a 7A plus and a 7B, but a 7B plus, uh, which is V8, I think was absolutely impossible. During this evaluation, I started with a 7A, so I simply increased the difficulty bit by bit until I got put into place. Behold! Six weeks later, on the 9th of October, I climbed a 7C+, which I think is V10 Yankee Doodle, on this same wall, uh, you know, which means it's the same grading reference, so I think this could be called decent progress, actually. What did I do? I executed the battle plan to the T. I think you guys say it that way. Not only is it now six weeks later, but it also is seven indoor spray wall bouldering sessions, six outdoor sport climbing sessions and seven hangboard sessions later. Although I also should mention that I missed one climbing session of the plan, which is so far the only imperfection in terms of plan execution and probably the cause for some unrestful nights recently. Anyway, although that's quite some volume, I think that's not the main reason for this kind of progress. What did I do during these sessions? I pushed hard problems on a spray wall. Actually, I could do my first 7B plus after the initial fitness check already in the next session, three days later, barefoot with only socks on. But then the climbing gods sent me into a mini plateau, it took me 20 days to get a 7C done, which happened actually on the 22nd of September, probably because I picked a sandbag one. And then another 17 days or so for the first 7C+. During the outdoor sports sessions, I just wanted to climb some nice lines. I ended up doing a couple of beautiful 8As, which is I think 513B. Those were definitely good to keep the psych up and to track progress on rock. And in terms of hangboarding, I grinded hard on the assisted one armors on the Beastmaker 2000 15mm edges. Plus, in the meantime, I also started some attacks on my micros. I was able to log new personal bests almost every session, but I think I will talk about that separately. However, also all of this is probably not the main reason for this kind of progress. A for me quite fascinating detail which I noted while executing the plan was that I actually gained some weight. I took my training weight during the first finger strength fitness check and I checked in at 66.8 kilograms, the kind of weight I was holding previously in a quite stable fashion. When I climbed the 7C, however, I already weighed 68.0 kilograms. And finally, during the 7C plus session, I weighed 68.9 kilograms. On the same scale, all measured right before the session was conducted. So it seems to me that I gained a bit of musculature in a relatively short time. Maybe there's a difference visible in a side by side. Let's see. Apparently the additional strength outperforms the weight gain, at least for now. That's good. Yet the question remains, why did I gain this kind of strength this quickly? The main reason for the great gains is simply that I am riding the comeback wave at the moment. I've talked about this phenomenon a lot already. Those of you following the channel more closely know that I took a three month break from climbing after a long grease trip and I'm now just getting back into shape. So I climbed 7C plus boulders before, my body just has to remember how that feels. Which is a completely different situation compared to someone who's climbing his first 7C plus ever. Albeit, there's probably freaks out there who have this kind of progression, despite it being their first 7C plus, their first V10 ever, you're never safe from these kind of guys nowadays. Anyway, during the comeback wave, gains come easy, the progression curve is steep, that's why it can actually be a tool for breaking a plateau you've been sitting on for a long time beforehand. So let's see where this takes us, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Hope you guys are alright out there, I hope I could drop some training motivation as well. Stay strong and I'll see you soon in the next one guys, bye.